hello everyone uh, in this video let us study weak square solution let us consider a system of linear equations defined like this a11 x1 plus a12 x2 up to a1 n x n is equal to b1 on the right hand side second equation a21 x1 plus a22 x2 up to a2 n x2 um, is equal to b2 on the right hand side the last equation is a m1 x1 plus a m2 x2 up to a m n x2 is equal to b m so generalized equation can be written as, as a into x equal to b in the matrix form so the residual rx can be computed as b minus a x all x belonging to n dimensional space and the least square solution x to the system can be found out by minimizing the length of r of x or by minimizing square of the length of r of x square of the length of r of x can be found using this equation that is summation i value varying from 1 to m ki1 x1 plus ki2 x2 plus up to ai n x n minus bi the whole set uh, we define a theorem a theorem is defined as a vector x hat is a least square solution of the system a is equal to b if and only if it is a solution of the associated normal system a transpose a x equal to a transpose b so in other words we can say that x hat is a least square solution if and only if a transpose a x hat is equal to a transpose b Let us try to understand the concept of least square solution with two examples. We we'll take the first example. We have been given three linear equations defined as x plus two y is equal to three, three x plus two y equal to five, x plus y is equal to two point zero nine. So we we'll define the matrix A. A is equal to Coefficient of x is one. Coefficient of y is two here, and the coefficient of uh, x is three. Coefficient of y here is two. Similarly, we have coefficient of x and y as one and one. So a into x. So I have taken the two variables x y. That is, I have written this in the matrix form. That is equal to on the right hand side we have the constant term. That is three by two point zero nine. From the earlier slide, uh, from the theory part, we have seen that uh, we know the equation is a transpose a into x is equal to a transpose into b. Here I have a transpose. This is a. This is uh, x and y are the variables. Then I is equal to a transpose into b on the right hand side. So when I multiply a transpose with a, I am going to get the resultant matrix as 11999. It is multiplied with the vector having the variables x and y. And when I multiply these two matrices on the right hand side, I am going to get the result. Matrix vector as twenty point zero nine eighteen point zero nine. Let us rearrange this matrix in such a way that we can compute the value of x and y. So I can write x y is equal to inverse of this matrix multiplied by this vector. So when I do this, I am going to get the answer as one. 1.01, which means x will be 1, y will be 1.01. We take the second problem. Find the constant function 
that is the least squared fit to the following data. Data is given in the form of a table for different values of x, the value of f of x. And what we have said is, it is a constant function. So therefore, I can define f of x is equal to a constant c. So let me put here, then the value of x is equal to 0, that means f of 0, my value of c is equal to 1. So when x is 0, f of 0 is c equal to 1. When the value of x is equal to 1, my value of f of x, which is constant c, that is equal to 0. So when it is 2, it is equal to 1. When it is 3, it will be equal to 2. I will rearrange it in the form of a matrix. I know that on the left hand side I have 4 C. So that 4 C multiplied with 1, 1, 1, 1. That will be equal to right hand side values whatever I have got 1, 0, 1, 2. Here this represents A for me. Then this represents B for me. So therefore I know that I can calculate these square values by using this expression a transpose a x equal to a transpose b. So I set a transpose as 1 1 1 1 multiplied by 1 1 1 1 multiplied by instead of x I have c that is equal to a transpose 1 1 1 1 multiplied by b 1 0 1 2. When I do this I am going to get 4 c on the left hand side and 4 on the right hand side. When I solve it, I get the value of c is equal to 1. We will take the next example. We need to find the linear polynomial that is the least square fit to the following data. So, we will take this as a straight line equation because we have said it is linear in nature. So, let us define the straight line equation it is of the form y equal to mx plus c. I have written it as fx equal to a constant term c1 plus c2 into x where c2 is the slope. So let us, we have different values of x. We have f of x. So when x equal to 0, then f of 0 is c1 equal to 1. When x value is 1, I have this as c1 plus c2 that is equal to 0. When x value is 2, we have c1 plus 2 c2 is equal to 1. When we have the third one, when the x value is 3, I write c1 plus c2 into 3 is equal to 2. We can put these values in the form of uh, matrix and I am going to get the matrix 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3. This is my A matrix. This corresponds to X and this corresponds to B. Uh, from the previous discussion, we know that A transpose A into X should give me A transpose into B. Now A transpose matrix is 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 2, 3 multiplied by A matrix 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3. Multiply by the variable C1 and C2 is equal to A transpose 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. Multiplied by B. And when we simplify this, we get a matrix as, resultant matrix as 4, 6, 6, 14. Multiplied by the two variable vector C1, C2 is equal to, simplifying on the right hand side, I get this as 4, 8. So, I will be getting the three equations, uh, two equations, that is 4C1 plus 6C2 equal to 4, 6C1 plus 14C2 equal to 8. Solving these two, I am going to get the value of C1 equal to 4, C2 equal to 4. So, in this problem, we need to find the least square solution of the inconsistent system defined by ax equal to b given a is equal to 4 0 0 2 
वन वन एंड बी इज इक्वल टू टू जीरो लेवन वी हैव द इक्वेशन ए ट्रांसपोज ए एक्स इज इक्वल टू ए ट्रांसपोज बी लेट अस टेक द ट्रांसपोज ऑफ ए मैट्रिक्स इट इज गिवन बाय फोर जीरो वन जीरो टू वन मल्टीप्लाइड बाय ए मैट्रिक्स फोर जीरो जीरो टू वन वन एंड द वेरिएबल्स आर एक्स वन एंड एक्स टू दैट इज इक्वल टू ए ट्रांसपोज दैट इज फोर जीरो वन जीरो टू वन मल्टीप्लाइड बाय बी टू जीरो लेवन सो वेन वी डू दिस वेन वी मल्टीप्लाई ए ट्रांसपोज इन टू ए वी आर गोइंग टू गेट द वैल्यू फोर इंटू फोर फोर इंटू फोर जीरो इंटू जीरो वन इंटू वन सो फोर इंटू फोर इज सिक्सटीन वन इंटू वन इज सो आई गेट दिस एज सेवेंटीन जीरो इंटू फोर टू इंटू जीरो वन इंटू वन आई एम गोइंग टू गेट द आंसर एज वन एंड हियर आई हैव फोर इंटू जीरो जीरो इंटू टू इज जीरो वन इंटू वन आई एम गोइंग टू गेट दिस एज वन दिस इज जीरो इंटू जीरो टू इंटू टू इज फोर वन इंटू वन इज वन सो आई गेट दिस एज फाइव सो मल्टीप्लाइड बाई एक्स वन एक्स टू इज इक्वल टू टू इंटू फोर इज एट जीरो इंटू जीरो इज जीरो प्लस वन इंटू लेवन इज लेवन सो आई गेट दिस एज नाइनटीन टू इंटू जीरो इज जीरो जीरो इंटू टू इज जीरो लेवन इंटू वन इज लेवन सो आई हैव टू इक्वेशन्स सेवेंटीन एक्स वन प्लस एक्स टू इज इक्वल टू नाइनटीन सेकेंड इक्वेशन इज एक्स वन प्लस फाइव एक्स टू दैट इज इक्वल टू लेवन when we solve these two equations uh, we are going to get the value of x1 is equal to 1 x2 is equal to 2 and we can compute the least square error by computing b minus ax cap that gives you here b is given as 2 0 minus it is a a is 4 0 0 2 1 multiplied by x cap which we have got now the values of x1 and x2 that is 1 and 2 so i can write this as 2011 minus 1 into 4 is 4 1 into 0 2 into 2 is 4 1 into 1 2 into 1 that is 1 plus 2 that is equal to 3 so i get this as minus 2 minus 4 11 minus 3 that i am going to get this as 8 so if i want to get the length of this b minus ax that is a least square error is going to be square root of minus 2 whole square plus minus 4 whole square plus 8 square that is equal to root of 84 we need to find the least square solution for the given expression ax equal to b 
with a is equal to 1 3 5 1 1 0 1 1 2 1 3 3 and b is equal to 3 5 7 minus 3 from the previous discussions we know that a transpose a x is equal to a transpose b we can write this as x cap so a transpose is given by 1 1 1 1 3 1 1 3 5 0 2 3 multiply by 1 3 5 1 1 0 1 1 2 1 3 3 multiply by the three variables x1 x2 x3 that is equal to a transpose 1 1 1 1 3 1 1 3 5 0 2 3 multiplied by 3 5 7 minus 3 when I simplify this I get this as 4 8 10 8 20 26 10 26 38 multiply by x1 x2 x3 is equal to it is 12 12 20 So we get three equations. First equation is 4x1, 8x2, 10x3 is equal to 12. 8x1, these are caps, plus 20x2 cap, 26x3 cap is equal to 12. 10 x1 cap 26 x2 cap plus 38 x3 cap is equal to 20. Solving this I get x1 cap is equal to 10 x2 cap is equal to minus 6 x3 cap is equal to 2. So, x cap is equal to 10 minus 6, 2. This is the answer. Thank you. In the next video, we will study the last topic of module number 4, that is Grant Smith's process.